Yo, what is going on? I am Sweet Phil, and today we're going to take a look at the Saigon set, and we're going to determine, is it garbage, or is it godly? Or does it fall somewhere in between? Now, with what we're taking a look at right here, we have the full set right down here. And as you can see, they're all red. It is one thing to note about this set. It actually, for early on, only requires level 6, but the uh, pieces here generally require 60, 70 strength. 60 is actually the lowest. So early on, you usually don't want to put a ton into strength when you're doing a playthrough, but if you're doing a playthrough and you plan on using this full set like you already have found it on a different character, and you're going to go transfer it back to a character that you're then going to play through, you're going to want to put more points into strength than you usually would. So one thing that is important to note, we'll go ahead and watch these pieces. You see they're all red. This one right here, the gloves are 60. So we'll go ahead and put points into strength over here until we get up to level 60, and you see a couple pieces turn blue. You can put them on. The important thing to note here is the gloves have 10 to strength on them already. So you can go ahead and equip the gloves here at 60 strength. And you notice everything except for the shield then turns blue. So everything then you can equip. If you do that this way, you can save yourself some strength points and then go ahead and put other gear items on. Now, each individual item here with the gloves has 20 attack rating and 10 to strength. We'll just take a look at all of them real quick. This, the shield, one to skill and blocking chance. Now only level six required and you get one to all skill. That's pretty wild sort of there on any item, to be perfectly honest. Down here at the belt, 20 to life and 20 fire res. Fire res can be very important, especially early on, but really all through the game. Here we get walk, run, and a high cold res, 40 cold res at level 6 here. On the boots, the, the armor up here, now we get lightning res at 30 and some defense. And on the helmet, we get mana and defense there. So you get lightning, you get cold, the fire res, all from this part of this set. So that's boosting up your resistances quite a bit. But the important thing here on the set items is seeing what type of set bonuses you get. Right off the bat, I'll show you one of the most commonly used and one if you're gonna use uh, early on and you just need some stuff to stick on your, your character, the boots and the gloves for melee characters specifically, very good actually early on. The gloves have 30% increased attack speed. That's actually the most increased attack speed you can get on any glove in the entire game 30 percent is the most you can get and this glove with the two-piece set actually does get it the attack rating and strength are already coming on the base item right there and for two just two pieces 10 percent life leech now that is incredibly high you could be doing this just at level six helping your melee characters out a ton over here on the boots yeah you also get 50 attack rating as the little bump up for having multiple pieces on here so the gloves and the boots as a two-piece set are a very good option now if you did want to throw on some other two-piece option sets we'll call just the uh, belt here 180 defense but this is based on character level uh so this is a level 90 barbarian that i'm sticking this on but i'm going to kind of simulate the lower level character by where i put the strength and points uh when we test it out a little bit but so it's just two per level so it's not a crazy ton of a boost from the two-piece set but if you don't have another option for the belt you can throw this on and then you get 10 life leech for the two-piece set bonus down there, you see it in the gold writing. One important thing to note for this, at level six, this is unheard of. Really in normal, it's almost unheard of, but you get the full slots of belts to fill up with his mitt, all these potions. Usually, you have to get to act two to get the uh, regular belt, to get the three slots, and then later on, maybe you can find a plate belt or something to give you the full four rows. But here with Saigons, if you did transfer this over and then do your playthrough with this, you have the full complement of potions that you can put down here. That is kind of important. So a lot of times maybe you'll go with the three piece set here. And if you've seen that real quick, you do get a hundred uh, defense as part of the three piece set bonus. But as for the boots, if you have three pieces on, you get an additional bonus, 50% increased chance of getting magic items. Now early on, that is incredibly good. Literally the first 100, 150, 200 magic find will double your chances of finding good items on a playthrough or something like that. So if you do get lucky enough to find these on like your first playthrough on ladder or something, getting 50 magic find is massive, is absolutely massive. We can take a look at some of the other ones. If we throw on just three set pieces up here, here you get attack rating based upon level, but you can see this is really high, but it won't not be this high. It might be like around 200 if you're a lower level character. It depends on your level, obviously. And you, you do get that bonus also if it's just the two piece set, depending on what you found. But like I said, the, the boots two piece is probably the most common and like the boots and the belt and the gloves right there is the most common three piece that I usually see people use. 
Now, if we go to the armor now, you don't really get a whole lot. You see that 10 life leech, 100 uh, defense uh, for four pieces. It's the same for three. So adding four pieces doesn't give you any additional to the set bonuses. And it, and the armor really just gets you 20 to attack or damage. So it does give you, the, like I said, the lightning res, which can help you out early. But it doesn't give you any additional bonuses from using extra pieces. Now, once you go ahead and throw on the helm here, now we got four. And you notice you don't get any more bonuses for four either. That's why I did mention before the two piece or the three piece is usually the most common because you don't get any additional for adding more of them on. And I, when I say the most common, I mean the most common for using partial sets. Another very, very common, especially here for melee characters and everything I'm kind of mentioned, this is mostly for different melee characters when you be playing through the game, whether Barbarian, perhaps you're going with Paladin and stuff or something like that or anything that you're doing strictly melee, but those are probably the most common. Now, we'll go ahead and throw on the shield. You see you need 75 on the strength to get the shield on. So go ahead and toss that on for five more strength and go ahead and put the shield on for the full set. And you see, boom, the full set bonuses explode up there. There's a ton of stuff. You get 24 fire damage on the max fire damage there. That is incredibly crazy high. Just melt stuff early on here. You know, if you threw this all on just at level six, when you could throw it on as early as possible. You still got the 10 life leech and the 100 defense. You get 20 mana. 12 extra fire res, you get uh, damage reduced by 7, which could kind of help out early on, actually. And you got attacker takes damage of 12, which is not going to be all that beneficial. There is attacker takes damage of 20 over here, so that is 32 to attacker taking damage up, which I suppose incredibly early on could actually reflect, you know, some of the damage back onto them, essentially. So for the full set here, it is important to note, too, kind of for this set, it gives you a lot of stuff that helps out your character at these places right here. But what it also does is it leaves your weapon slot open so that you can then throw on if you have a black rune word, if you have some other weapon that at the time is actually kind of a lot of damage for a lower level weapon, you could throw it in here, whether you got a strength, whether you have, you know, all different kinds of those lower level weapons or any of the uniques, rares, anything you find along the way that you want to use at that time. So your weapon slot is open and I find that to be a very important thing. Now over here also the amulet and the rings are both open so you don't have to throw on some ring here that has you know we'll just two to light radius 10 to attack rating or something and that's like the set bonuses for the ring you can go ahead and level these up getting better and better and better rare rings as you go along and the same thing for amulets magic or rare whatever they can help out your total build they aren't uh, locked into uh, set items that you don't necessarily want because these ones are the easiest stuff to upgrade. You find rings and amulets kind of all the time, sorta. And you never know, you identify a bunch and they could be a little better and a little better. And with weapons, sometimes you want to swap, swap around, have one with more crushing blow, have one with a little bit more damage. So since the newest patch for the ladder came out, you can actually upgrade set items. And we can kind of take a look at whether you really want to upgrade any of this stuff. A lot of times belts for, for set items, like we'll say the Death Sash people will upgrade so you can hold more potions. But with this particular one, Saigon's Wrap, you're going to end up having the full capacity here right off the bat. So you don't really need to worry about that. And it does raise the strength requirement quite a bit. So in general, you wouldn't generally, it will raise the defense, but you get so much defense from the based on character level as you get really higher in level. I would feel the strength requirement from really any of the items around here, you generally don't need to or wouldn't want to upgrade them. Like, like I said, it's just going to raise the requirement so high in defense later on is completely like unimportant essentially so i would generally stick with not upgrading any of the saigon pieces and then i'll just for a quick example i'm out at the outer cloister i just bought a random scepter here from akara and we'll go ahead and take a couple swings and just see how this does go now remember the attack rating is higher so i'm gonna hit more often but the uh strength and stuff like that i did not add any extra into it so the damage of each strike is exactly what it would be and you can see with almost everything I'm one hitting almost everything here in act one. Now this is with no points into any skills of any kind. This is just normal attack. I have just enough strength to wear the gear, no dex, no vitality. I did not put anything into any of that. The life will also be a little bit higher just because of when you level up, you do get more life, but I'm not even getting hit at all. You can see uh, I'm not losing any life. The resistances, you can see where they're at based upon the gear. And you can see these monsters with the attacker takes damage here early on. They're actually just killing themselves when they hit me. So that's actually kind of interesting. I didn't realize it was going to be 
that much. But these guys, when they hit me, these uh, devilkins, they actually just commit suicide, essentially. So that's kind of interesting. That's how powerful this set can be. And do remember, this is a higher level character that I'm just simulating. So yes, I know there's a few things that the life would be a little bit lower and the attack rating would be a little bit lower because it's based on the levels and stuff like that. But this is just kind of give you an, a general look. Let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit higher area in uh, normal here. Now, once again, still no skills in anything, no extra added stat points. I just bought a scepter here that'll swing a little bit faster. Even have just a tiny bit more damage here. And we're in act five of normal. And we're going to go ahead and out here and start swinging away at some of these guys. It still is doing all right damage here. And you can see uh, this is just some weapon that I bought literally from the vendor. But I'm barely getting hit here. Life's slowly going down by mainly some of these casters, I have a feeling. But if you had some potions, you'd be perfectly fine. If you were using any skills at all, I feel like it would go a little bit better, right? So that's right here. Just a vendored weapon with the Saigon set doing. And you can actually do stuff just with that. If you did have a better weapon, you were doing some crushing blow. If you had some uh, stone skin, if you had some natural resistant points at one point into that or something like that, if you were a little bit higher level all or if you were using just just any of those shouts and stuff like that would totally help you out. So what is my final verdict for the Saigon set? Is it godly? Is it garbage? I personally say it's right in the middle because it is absolutely godly early on absolutely amazing through normal rocking those melee characters but the late game usage it's not fully there technically i suppose you could it does have some good bonuses and stuff on it it really really does but you're not going to be end game farming with this particular set or anything like that so hey let me know when and how you love to use your saigon set peace out and don't forget keep slaying Ooh.